A beacon of hope. Introducing Ambassador Turner. Ambassador Julie Turner carries a weighty mantle. As the special envoy on North Korean human rights issues, she is America's voice for the voiceless. Her mission to shine a light on the plight of the North Korean people and rally the world to their cause. It's a cause rooted in the belief that every human life holds inherent dignity and deserves respect. Ambassador Turner's recent trip to Europe was not just a diplomatic mission. It was a journey fueled by the urgency of the human rights crisis unfolding in North Korea. Her itinerary, London, Paris and Geneva, each stop meticulously planned to amplify the voices of those silenced by oppression. Her message is clear. The world must not turn a blind eye to the suffering of the North Korean people. Their stories, often whispered in the shadows, must be heard. Their resilience, forged in the face of unimaginable hardship, must be supported. Ambassador Turner's journey is a testament to the power of hope. Hope for a future where human rights are not aspirations, but realities for the people of North Korea. London and Paris, cities steeped in history and known for their cosmopolitan embrace, became the stage for Ambassador Turner's urgent message. She engaged in high-level meetings with government officials, their faces etched with concern as they listened to accounts of human rights violations. The discussions were frank, the atmosphere thick with a shared commitment to finding solutions. But it wasn't just diplomats at the table. Ambassador Turner understood the power of collective action. She met with civil society organizations, the unsung heroes working tirelessly to support North Korean escapees. These organizations, driven by compassion and armed with first-hand accounts, provided invaluable insights into the daily struggles faced by those who dared to escape. Perhaps the most impactful meetings were with the escapees themselves. Their stories, etched with pain and courage, painted a stark picture of life inside North Korea. Forced labor camps, torture, and a pervasive climate of fear. These were not mere allegations, but lived experiences shared with chilling clarity. These encounters served as a sobering reminder of the human cost of indifference. They fueled a collective resolve to ensure that the voices of the North Korean people would not be silenced. London and Paris, often associated with grandeur and glamour, became theatres of empathy and action. Geneva, home to the United Nations Human Rights Council, provided a global platform for Ambassador Turner's message. The world was watching as she participated in the Universal Periodic Review of North Korea's human rights record. This was not a time for diplomatic niceties, but for unflinching scrutiny. The evidence was presented a damning indictment of North Korea's systematic and widespread human rights violations, forced disappearances, arbitrary detention, and a complete disregard for fundamental freedoms, the litany of abuses sent shockwaves through the assembled diplomats. Ambassador Turner's voice resonated with conviction as she called on the international community to hold North Korea accountable for its actions. The Universal Periodic Review, often criticised for its limitations, became a powerful tool for exposing the truth and galvanising global action. The world took notice. Newspapers ran headlines about the atrocities unfolding in North Korea. Human rights organisations issued scathing reports. The issue, once relegated to the sidelines of international diplomacy, was thrust into the spotlight. Geneva, a city often associated with diplomacy and neutrality, became a crucible for justice. The message was clear. The world could no longer afford to ignore the plight of the North Korean people. Section 4. 
Beyond Borders, Human Rights and Global Security. The conversation about human rights in North Korea is not confined to the halls of the United Nations or the quiet rooms of diplomatic meetings. It is a conversation with global implications, inextricably linked to international peace and security. The brutal reality is that regimes that disregard the basic rights of their own people rarely hesitate to threaten the security of others. North Korea's pursuit of nuclear weapons, its disregard for international law, and its history of aggression all stem from a culture of impunity that begins with the oppression of its own people. Ambassador Turner understands this connection. Her message is not just about compassion, it's about strategic imperative. A world that tolerates human rights abuses in one corner is a world that jeopardizes the security of all. Addressing the human rights crisis in North Korea is not just a moral obligation, it's a strategic necessity. A stable and peaceful Korean peninsula can only be built on a foundation of respect for human rights. Section 5. America's Promise – A Legacy of Freedom The United States has a proud history of standing up for human rights around the world. It's a commitment enshrined in the nation's founding documents and woven into the fabric of its identity. Ambassador Turner's mission to Europe is a testament to this enduring commitment. The United States is not just talking the talk, it's walking the walk. Through bilateral and multilateral engagements, the US is working tirelessly to hold North Korea accountable for its human rights abuses. Sanctions are being imposed on individuals and entities complicit in these abuses. Humanitarian aid is being provided to support those who have managed to escape. But the US cannot do it alone. It requires a global coalition of nations committed to upholding human rights and holding perpetrators accountable. Ambassador Turner's trip to Europe is a crucial part of building that coalition. The message is clear. The United States stands with the people of North Korea. Their struggle for freedom is our struggle. Their hope for a brighter future is a hope we share. Section 6. Time for Action. Your voice matters. The plight of the North Korean people is a call to action for each and every one of us. We cannot afford to be bystanders to injustice. Silence is complicity. So what can you do? First, educate yourself. Learn about the human rights abuses taking place in North Korea. Read the stories of survivors. Share this information with your friends and family. Second, raise your voice. Contact your elected officials and urge them to prioritize human rights in their dealings with North Korea. Support organizations working to help North Korean escapees. Third, engage in dialogue. Talk to your friends, family and colleagues about this issue. Share your thoughts and concerns on social media. Use your platform to amplify the voices of the North Korean people. Every action, no matter how small, can make a difference. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of millions of North Koreans yearning for freedom and dignity.